Gate style, size, and placement are important aspects of mold design. In this lesson, we will learn about fan gates and how they are used with various parts. There are many advantages to the fan gate design. With fan gates, polymer melt flows from a cold runner into the fan, into the gate, and then into the part. Because fan gates are wide, they allow for uniform flow behavior into a part. Due to this flow behavior, the material molecules are uniformly oriented, so packing, cooling, and shrinkage behaviors are uniform. Also, fan gates reduce the possibility of jetting into a mold, and they have lower flow-through velocity and so less material shearing and degradation. In addition, flow and packing stresses are generally low. Finally, when molding polymers with fibers, the fibers are more evenly aligned with fan gates so the anisotropic shrinkages are more uniform and evenly distributed. The disadvantage to using fan gates is that they have manual or machine degating requirements, which leave visible gate marks on a part's surface. Fan gates can be different styles, shapes, or sizes. These differences can influence the polymer flow direction during filling and the pack pressure flow and timing. Flow front behavior is important to observe, since it influences flow hesitations and racetrack effects. In this lesson, we will evaluate five different gate styles and sizes. The first style is the standard fan gate. This style leads the material from the runner to the fan gate. For our example, the fan gate is stepped down to a thin edge of the part surface. The image on screen is our first example, a standard fan gate without showing the part. The second example is the standard fan gate with an added runner segment that will lead material to the outer edges of the fan gate. For our purposes, we will refer to this example as the fan gate with the Y runner. Now let's take a closer look at the fill patterns for all the gate examples at 0.2 and 0.4 seconds into filling. On screen are the fill patterns at the 0.2 second interval. Focus on the flow front development specifically how the flow through the gates is different depending on their style and size. The most significant difference at this interval is between the Y runner and the reverse tapered fan gate. The material flow advances more quickly to the outside fan than to the tapered fan gate. Moving on to injection pressure requirements, let's first compare the standard and two tapered fan gate styles. Because the standard fan gate is the thinnest, it shows the highest pressure requirements. The pressures for both examples are similar until the material reaches the gate. 